<sighs> hmm. Right. Hmm. Ah. Huh. Yep. That'll do. Excellent. Yes, I found a shed that doesn't have a switch, but it will soon. So I need a switch in here because I'm going to put a camera up as well, which will be another video. Um, and now you don't need a switch for a camera. I could do it with PoE probably, but I do want to have uh, more things in here as well. So I need more ports, um, which is why I need a switch. So because this is sort of an indoor outdoor shed, like the front of it is open, but the rest of it is enclosed. I can't really do like an indoor switch. So instead I'm using this flex switch or switch flex as it's called which is a five port unify switch um, the first port is how you power it so this is a switch that's powered by poe which is pretty neat i think um, now i don't actually have poe going to it so i'm going to use a poe adapter but we'll get to that in just a second um, this has uh, 46 watts of power budget, so it'll power a fair amount, like a camera is seven or eight or something like that. Uh, you can power access points, uh, you can power a nano stations or a wireless beam if you wanted to put this somewhere far away, which I actually have one already in my pump shed. So uh, that's what I'm using now. This is not particularly um, outdoor rated either as such, which is why you can buy this um, USW Flex Utility. This is a utility case for this switch, specifically designed. So this, as you can see in the back, has the PoE adapter. So this is a big monger. It gives you like something like 60 watts of power or something out of the PoE adapter, fair amount. Uh, that will power the whole switch. And then you can have four things obviously connected to that switch. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna put that roughly here something like that up on the wall uh, in this old crusty shed um, but it'll do the job and um, but first I think we're just gonna have a look what's in the boxes and what it looks like and then we'll install it and then we'll talk more about features and specs and how it looks inside of the Unify controller but first uh, what's in the box all right let's see what's um, in the boxes so I'm gonna start with the flex uh, the actual switch, which is on top here. It's an itty bitty box because it's an itty bitty switch. There it is. Uh, come on. Oh, I like this new style. It was the same on the G5 Pro. Anyway, so that's, that's it. That's the size of it. That is all there is to it. Let's just see here. It's got a little clever sort of assembly piece here. So this, you can take the front off here. Yeah, come on, like so. And then obviously the cables go through here, but you can also take this apart. <coughs> this apart. There we go, like that. So you can put the cables up through and then you can then put that on top, like so. That's kind of neat, I'll just put that back on. Like that. And then, so the first port here is the power. That's where you put in the PoE power. And then you have four ports here um, with 46 watts of goodness. Uh, and then there's some, um, <laughs> if, you weren't, if you weren't using the flex utility case, you could put it up with these, um, but you can actually take that off, you know, and you can set up with these cable ties. Um, and there's a reset button there, but yeah, pretty simple. It's quite neat, and you can you can. It's the typical nice Unify quality. Are you ready? It just fits. I like it. Okay, so that's the switch, and there's some literature here. Uh, oh, there's actually another. Ah, oh, flat mount here. So this is a pole mount there. There's a pole mount, and then there's a wall mount for a flat one. Uh, I don't think we need to use either because we've got the utility case. Uh, but in any case. Let's have a look at the utility case. I'll put them up here. So this is that, that whole case and the PoE adapter is in here. So let's have a look at that. 
All right, so what was that? Okay, kind of neat. A oh, quick start guide installation. Yep, all right. So here's the PoE adapter. It's a big one. Um, it's got a special plug there for the cords to come out of it, for the cables, power cords. And then this is the mount, the pole mount for the case itself. So we're not actually gonna use the pole mount because we're gonna mount it on the wall there. There is a, um, I can't remember what these are called, but a screwy, snappy, on thing, which you can also mount on the pole or whatever you want to secure it to. Then there's the wiring, which is from the PoE here into the switch itself. So that's the itty bitty cable, that's the right size. And then of course there is the case itself, which is this lovely thing. Um, and yeah, it's white, which is interesting. It does actually stay kind of white for a while, um, unless it's in the elements. And there's a little neat ha uh, lock on it here, which I can never open first time. Oh, there we go, <laughs> like that. And then you open it like that. You put the PoE adapter goes in here, uh, there somehow. And the switch goes in there, right, in there. And then you put the whole thing up on the wall. So that's what we're gonna do next. But yeah, this, this flex case is such a good idea. Uh, the utility case for that switch. It's just really good. It, it's worth it for sure to get that as well. Uh, and then the bottom here we have the, uh, where the cable's going in and out. And there's a very tight thing, anti-wasp mechanism, as we call it here. Cool, all right, let's install this thing on the wall. Now the flex utility case, cabinet, whatever, is on the wall. It's pretty easy, actually. Uh, I did, of course, need the bracket. That's not just for pole mount. It also works for pole mount. So uh, brackets on, case is on. Let's hook it all up. Um, so first, I'm gonna put the power thing. So this does not come with a power cord. You have to put that on on the little adapter here, this thing here. So very easy. They just push in and it clamps on. There's no screws needed or anything. Okay, so this thing, actually I should take the plastic off, shouldn't I? Um, yeah. <laughs> so that goes up here, and again, everything just clips in really nicely. Ready for it? Oh, I didn't even go click, but anyway. And then you loop this around here to get any um, stress off the cable, if you have any. And then the grommet down here, everything just lines up and fits. That's it. Boop. And of course we've got to plug it in, but we'll do that after we hooked everything up. And then we need the switch, obviously, which I've got here as well. So there's the switch. Um, I will probably just take this off to start with, just a half there, so that we can get into it. Um, so that goes in there. Please. Hello. What do you want? Oh, <clears throat> take the bracket off. There we go. Now it'll fit. Just in case you don't have this case, there's a bracket obviously for mounting on all. Um, so put that in here. Fits like a very snug. And then it comes with a, a very accurately measured length of cat six and it fits exactly from that to that on the side here so there's little clips here and go around push it back in and then this just goes up into port number one because that's the power remember and clink there it is and then we can put this cover back on make it all neat like that, and then that's it. We're done. So let's. Do, I'll just plug it in. You can see it all come on as well. There you go. Power's on. Now you may have noticed there is no data connection, but that's because 
it's here. Um, I'm going to put this, I'm going to do cable management a little bit later. I won't bore you with that. So, that goes up through here. Oh, now I put the cover on, didn't I? Got it. And we can put that up through this number two grommet here, which goes to, sorry, number one grommet goes to number two port, but you get the idea. There we go. So now, that is providing signal from another switch, PoE powered, remember? Now we have signal to it, so now we can see it in Unify uh, network. So I'm just, now I'm gonna put it back on again. There we go. And you can see it's got green light. So now it's got a data connection, because it's flashing green. Um, and it's got power, because the PoE, and it's in, in this lovely case, or cabinet, utility case, and we can close it here. And now nothing is coming into this. No wasps, no dust, no nothing. It's all really neatly done. The grommet down here is beautifully um, made. So that's it, perfect. So let's go and have a look at the Unify controller and we'll adapt it in and see what it looks like there. So let's start here on the product page for the Flex switch or the Switch Flex. Uh, there's actually three different ways of powering this switch, uh, all via PoE, but depending on the type of PoE you have. So I use the PoE adapter from the utility case, which means that I get PoE++ equivalent, actually. So that down here, you can see it's 46 watts of power that I have. If you're powering with PoE+, so that's from most switches, really, if you power it from one of those switches, like the, uh, let's say, the 48-port switch that I did in another video, it's linked there. Then you get 20 watts of power, which means you can still power um, sort of smaller things, but your cameras and your access points, uh, maybe not on all four points. And if you only have PoE, you get eight watts. Uh, it does say it's indoor-outdoor. I'm not sure how outdoor rated it is, but let's go and have a look at the technical specs for this. So if I scroll down a bit here, you can see there's a bit of close up there, it's all lovely. Uh, the technical specifications, so it's very light, 230 grams, and it's not very big, it's like the size of my palm of my hand, thereabouts. Uh, power method says PoE++, but again, there's various ways of powering it. Um, it will give you 46 watts, we've already been across that, yada yada yada. The operating temperature uh, differs as well, depending on whether you power it with PoE++ or your PoE+, as you can see here. So if it's um, not as powerful, then it can tolerate higher degrees of, um, of temperature. So, okay. Fairly simple device, super useful because it's powered by PoE. Um, that is actually very useful. You don't need necessarily 240 watts or 120, 110, wherever you are in the world. Um, so let's just have a look at the utility case as well. So this is, so the switch itself is uh, $99 US. And the utility case is only $49. It's actually really reasonably priced. And it comes with the PoE adapter um, and the little cable that you saw in the box. And this is outdoor weatherproof, weatherproof enclosure. So I, I will recommend if you have any kind of outdoor environment for the flex, flex switch, switch flex, uh, get the utility case. Not only is it a better uh, rating for outdoors, but it also just makes it really neater. Um, and it comes with a PoE adapter. Uh, yes, uh, so here are some different scenarios that they say, okay, you know, you can put it on a post, or you can put it on top, you know, on a wall, or whatever it is you want to do. Um, but, down here, we should have a rating. No, it doesn't actually have an IP, I thought it had an IP rating. But there you go. Um, nope, it does not. 206 grams, it's not very heavy. Uh, it's all made of plastic with some nice rubber things on it, so it's weatherproof. Surge immunity, uh, I don't actually know what that means exactly other than it does have some sort of surge protection in it. Um, and again, the temperature, which is important if you live in Australia and it gets really hot in summer. <laughs> um, not so cold in winter. So let's have a look at the Unify controller and you can see it's already here, ready to be added. So if I just click on the USW Flex here, there's an adopt device. So let's do that and uh, see what that gives us. So there's not much to it. So I am, as always, going to give it another name. I do like giving my name, um, my devices good names so I know where they are. So we're gonna call this machinery shed. That's what we call that shed we were in. 
um, switch like so uh, so since we're at settings let's see what else we got the usual stuff if you're familiar with uh, unified devices and switches we can set the IP configuration to DHCP or static and we have some global switch settings which means that we can uh, just adopt whatever is set as a global setting for the uh, whole network or we can change it if we need to and of course there are some uh, we can change the LEDs so we can turn them on and off but it's in a case anyway so you can't see it and I would expect there to be a update in a minute but anyway we get to that the ports yep they're not quite there yet so we're just gonna wait that for that to get ready and that should then update here oh there we go it looks like we have contact so yep we can see there's one port connected which is the blue cable that I plugged in and that is also its uplink that's what that little uh, up arrow that's blinking essentially is and, and we provide PoE on all of those four ports we're not using PoE on the uh, connected wire but in the next video when I put up the camera we are going to use the PoE so um, we can again look at the port manager just for this it's not that exciting it's a little bit more exciting on the 48 port switch I must admit when there's 48 ports five ports not so much but that's not the point of this okay uh, let's go back to overview and we have an update so let's just do that and see if anything changes all right so then the uh, switch is now updated and uh, for some reason we have PoE power availability unknown power source which I'm a little bit surprised about because I used what was what was provided um, so interesting I might just have to go and figure out what that is all about because um let's just have a look at the pump shed switch and see what that says yeah unknown power source how interesting because it's provided by the PoE so apparently the PoE adapter doesn't indicate what power source it or how much power is coming through to the flex switch because it's the same one up there um, okay I'm actually surprised by that Unify because normally all this just works really well together so uh, yeah we don't know the unknown, unknown power source but we know what it is so I know I have 46 watts of power it's just I would have liked to have seen that here um, but there you go a little bit of a glitch maybe or maybe that's just not possible I'm not sure I understand all of it so but that is the switch flex uh, a super versatile little tiny switch with four ports that you can use that can go pretty much anywhere if you have that um, cabinet as well the, the case for it the utility case uh, really 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 useful I have two now um, and yeah they work really well they've never missed a beat so um, if you have any questions as always put them in the comments let me know what I've missed uh, this is a very simple device and as, it, as it should be uh, but still let me know and as always if you are into this kind of content and like Unify stuff and networking stuff and home automation and maybe Lego um, subscribe to the channel because I'd love to have you part of the community and um, until then I'll see you next time which will be the other new camera. All right, bye.